What's going on everybody? Pad Ragnarok here, going to be playing a different game than Pad. This is going to be Final Fantasy Tactics, and we're going to be doing it live on our stream. So if you are on the stream, um, definitely come hang out and chat. There are going to be some times where I want to name a character, and if you guys vote on what the name is, then I'll just choose one of your names that you guys select. So there's a lot of uh, awesome stuff going on in this game. If you've never played Final Fantasy Tactics, it is a fantastic game. I'm just going to let the opening credits run here a little bit. And I'm actually going to show my face in uh, in this Let's Play. It's going to be a little bit different than than my Zelda one, which I hope you guys enjoyed. Honestly, um, being my first Let's Play, I understand why it wasn't too too highly viewed. Uh, but I also think that there wasn't really too many good things going on in that in that Let's Play. I beat the game though, so that counts. But here is Final Fantasy Tactics, one of my favorite games. Really, really fun. All right, I'm just going to go here. New game. And I'm going to be using an emulator for this. Kind of let this run through so I get used to the uh, controls here. Alice Lamb. I really don't know how to pronounce that guy's name, but an ancient scholar. Move this over here. So he kind of tells you uh, the story about the Lion War. Make sure you guys can see this. Basically, basically, this is the background for this uh, entire story. It's going to be about a, a war over who's going to be the successor for uh, for the country of Ivalis. Delita. So we're going to hear about Delita. Delita is uh, one of the main characters. You get to play as him a little bit, not really too much. Kind of here and there. We also know that what we see with our eyes alone isn't necessarily the truth. There he is. Ah, oh, that's not him. That's actually uh, Ramza. Ramza's going to be the main character for our for our account. A hey, Beolv. I really don't know how to pronounce his last name. Beolv. Something like that. There's going to be some brothers involved in here. A little bit of family drama. So I'm going to be trying to do this uh, Let's Play with as many, uh, as much information or as little information outside of my own you know, playthrough of the game. I played it many times. It was a game that I played a lot growing up. There was one point where I said that it was the worst Final Fantasy ever, and that was because I couldn't get past like the very beginning of it. Um, there was a time where I didn't even know how to uh, play the game, and this was before well, when strategy guys were out there. Not too many online games, but <laughs> there are not too many online guides, I mean. And I just got stuck. I couldn't beat this one battle. I'll show you the battle, why it was so frustrating for me. Oh no. Let's change that. I want to beat Amza. Amza. And we'll go with my actual birthday, which is January 2nd, just uh, two days ago. So with this, uh, I'm going to be trying to go through as many as possible, uh, or as many, uh, as much of the game as possible from my streams. I'm going to be uploading it to YouTube, but uh, there are going to be some points where battles are excessively long, and I'll do my best to fast forward those and really just try to uh, make it a more fun to watch. Because nobody wants to watch me grind, uh, unless you do, but I, I highly doubt it. I don't want to watch that. I don't even want to do it. I just want to kind of get it done, but... These cinema, these graphics though, pretty good for the time. I think this came out about the same time as Final Fantasy VII, so about 1997, possibly a year after because Cloud Strike does make a minor appearance in this game, but it is totally optional. You don't even have to do it. I will be doing it, but I will probably be using him as a character because he, uh, well, he kind of sucks. He's kind of not good, so... <laughs> It's like an old busted church. I can only assume that this is Ramza. But it's because he's got knight helmet on, possibly isn't. <laughs> the 
those giant eyes. Oh, good point, Cloud. Um, I do want to find out about how to get a Dark Knight. That's probably going to one, be one thing that I look up while I'm not uh, playing the game. Just kind of like, like look at where to go. Because there is a Dark Knight class and it involves Agrius in some way. I don't know exactly how to do it. I've never actually done it. It's probably one of the few things I've uh, ever really, ever really accomplished in this game. But Look this awesome cinema play out. Hey, first time, you know, graphics. Pretty good. And that was just the scene of those five that is on the cover of the uh, actual game itself that you can buy. And I did buy it. Bought it, uh, I don't know, 15 years ago? It's probably about 10 years old when I first played this game. First got frustrated at it. I preferred Final Fantasy VII. That was my favorite game growing up. Until Nine came out. I think Nine was, uh, I've done a lot of challenges where you play only as the Dane and things like that. Never really done a challenge with tactics. I've always kind of played through. The furthest thing from a challenge I've done is not including uh, or not using TG Sid, who is the best, strongest character in the game. He's just he makes the game easy mode. All right, so it looks like some uh, some guys were just riding their chocobos to this church, and this is where the opening scene is going to uh, take place at Orbone Monastery. I'm going to try not to give as many spoilers away as possible. Uh, I know this game has been out for over, over, what, almost, almost about 20 years about? Holy crap. I'm getting old. <laughs> Still playing video games though. We'll definitely be doing that for a while. God, please help us. So a lot of uh, religious aspects to this game. So that is a female knight known as Agrius. We'll find out her name in just a second. But Ovelia is the princess. She's praying. There are some guards here. And that is uh, Priest Simon. And there I am. There's Ramza on the left in the purple. A black knight. Very, very powerful. Very annoying. Uh, nah, I won't talk about it. Never mind. He's cool. Pretty rude, though. Don't be rude to the princess. Get on your knee. Bend a knee to her urgent issue. And that squire in the background is a uh, rad. I think you can hold on to him and he has some sort of bearing on Dark Knight class, but that is something I will have to find out. The Hokuten are a uh, band of uh, like guards, I guess, for the uh, one of the... my family. The old family. So these three are mercenaries. Looks like I'm a mercenary along with uh, this guy with the mustache. He's very rude. He uh, does not care about class. Typical mercenary really just wants to get paid and doesn't care about loyalties or anything like that. He's very strong, does what he needs to do, and that's really it. Go with God. Will do. Whoop! Oh, something's happening outside. Goltana. Goltana is one of the two um, people, the two lions. The, we got the battle of the War of the Lions. One must make money. Ramza is not a knight, so all right, so a little bit of a... Uh, he used to be a knight, now he's a mercenary. Let's go. But yeah, there's Larg and then there's Goltana. They're both fighting for the throne. We'll find out a little bit more about that storyline in a little bit. But we have a battle that we have to do. This is our first battle for the game. Not really too much that we have to do, it's more so watching and seeing how the game is structured. And it may look blocky, it may look kind of like uh, not great, but that is one of the main things about this game. What makes it so good is that it's square based, it's turn based, you can move a certain amount of squares, and when you do that, you can do an action or you can wait. And we'll run through what you can do in a second. Prince Goltana wants to start a war well. Some sort of war is going to happen, that's the name of the game. These are just some random guys. Goltana's men trying to attack us. Head on too. But is this some sort of distraction? Brad and Ramza. Once they start walking, that's the uh, beginning of the battle. 
So each battle you're going to have some sort of condition. In this one, all we have to do is defeat all the enemies. Sometimes you have to protect a character. Sometimes you have to kill only one character. It's going to be a little bit different every time. For the most part, it's kill all enemies. But Agris doesn't want to kill them all. But uh, Gafgarian does. Must have named him while I was talking. He's a Dark Knight. Oh, and that was me changing the screen. You have four different screen views you can have, and you can also kind of zoom in and out a little bit. It's a little bit limited in what you can do. I'll try to run through as soon as my turn, which should be next. Yep, so I can move around. I can do an act, which is basically an attack, or guts, which is my special attack. Okay, to see what exactly it is. No. <laughs> Trying to find the back button. Somewhere around here. There. All right. So, when I start to move, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, move spaces that I can go. That's because this is Ramza's move space, and it gets a little bit smaller as you can see if I go back and over. That just counts the total moves, so it's one, two, three, four, five. That would be five moves. Everybody has a little bit different moves, but I can zoom in and out with uh, this button, left and right with these two, and go all the way around. And I can also do one other thing I should be able to do. Here. There it is. Alright, so that's going to be important because every battle starts low like this. First thing I usually do is change it up. Alright, so let's move up here. Once you move, you can't move again, so you want to make sure you set exactly what you want to do first. Now if I wanted to attack, I can only attack my friend here. As you can see, I can do 49 attack. It's cool that it tells you exactly how much you're going to attack for. Um, so really part of the tactics and planning is you can plan your move and say, okay, well, this guy has 213 HP, I'm going to do 49. I'm not going to kill him, and I've only got a 75% chance to hit him, um, so I'm probably not going to do that, for example. But I'm not going to attack my own guy anyway. I can Wish, which is just going to be a little healing spell, you see it says plus 62 HP. Or I can uh, Accumulate, which is going to raise my attack. I like doing that because you get a little bit more uh, experience, I get 10 experience and 16 job points, and then I want to change my direction. And the reason I want to change my direction is because if I go like this, Somebody's going to come up behind me, as you can see they're very close there, and just have a pretty much a 100% chance to hit me. When I was uh, facing Gafgarion to the left, or his right, uh, I had a 75% chance, but if I were behind him, I'd usually be 90 to 100%. And I'm going to face this way. It's the logical way. <clears throat> and then that's pretty much it. That's all I can do. Agrius is going to be uh, played by the computer. She's going to use her steady sword, uh, which is really stasis sword. I don't know why it says steady. But um, that has the chance to inflict a status called stop. And when you're stopped, uh, you cannot do any action. So that guy, we can tell without even clicking on him that it's, uh, he's in stop because he can stop moving. Everybody else is doing that little walk thing. So he's going to heal him up, but it really doesn't matter uh, because he can't do anything anyway. It's basically a sitting duck. Archers have a pretty good range. As you can see, he's going to do 32. What he's doing right now is just charging up. Uh, archers can charge for longer and do more damage the longer that they charge, which I guess is just kind of pulling the bow back and back. I don't know how an arrow gets stronger, but um, it's cool because if you charge too long, Gafgarion can actually move from that spot, and the archers are only going to hit that spot. But because these archers are firing uh, with a quick charge, it wasn't Gafgarion, the throw behind him and actually changes uh, the whole tactics of it. You don't want to charge and attack somebody who's going to move anyway because they're not smart enough to follow the person. They're only going to attack that uh, particular square. I don't think these level ups really matter. It's probably just more so to show you how leveling up works. Because Ramza is like level, what, 7 or 8 right now? I can't imagine I'm going to start at level 7. I think I'm going to start at level 1, but... I can't remember. Four or five is jumping in my head, too. But here we go. I do get another turn here. So I'm going to go next to this guy. And just do an attack. I raised my attack a little bit. So if I get a critical, it'll kill him. But it didn't. I'm just going to face this way as well. That's pretty much all I can do. That'll probably be over in just a minute.
and they're just kind of healing. So effectively I did 19 attack because he healed by 30. One of my attacks will kill him, but I may not get to attack again. <clears throat> Something cool about the archers too, um, you may have noticed it said 0% chance. Many archer bows are going to go straight. So even though she's targeting, she was targeting like a knight there, it hit the person in front of him. That's why it was zero for the knight. He actually attacked, or char uh, targeted, but it actually hit the other one. Because archers can't shoot close range, but if they aim further and there's something in the way, it'll hit them. So effectively they can hit close if you know how to work the system. <clears throat> and because we've uh, run out of space here on the board, um, there's one space where the, uh, you know, behind them, I can't actually get behind them here. So that's why it's, it's effectively they have their back up against the wall. But uh, they really it's just like the borders of the game. Alright, so we get another move here. We'll just finish off this guy. <clears throat> See, there was that critical I wanted earlier. Uh, critical, I don't know exactly how the rate works. But occasionally you can get one. There may be some weapons that improve your rates. But then there's some attacks like the stasis sword where it's always going to hit. It's got 100%. Uh, rate. It always does a static damage. It never does a critical, but that stop static uh, uh, status can be really, really effective. <clears throat> These potions really just delay the battle a little bit. But I think if Gathgarian gets over there, his Knight Sword, I think, just absorbs. There is a move he has that causes death, I believe. I don't think he ever uses that. He'll probably use it when you uh, use him later, but... I don't know. As far as I know, you can't lose this battle. Even if you attack yourself, you really don't have that many turns to, uh, to kill your own guys with just Ramza. They only really let you carry, or control him. But that'll change. But anytime I have a guest like uh, Gafgarian or Agrius, they will always be controlled by the computer. And sometimes they do cool things, sometimes they're pretty stupid. <laughs> and they just kind of... Uh, there's going to be one character later who uh, has a gun. And he just is not a smart character until you uh, use it yourself. 78% I was able to uh, hit him. And Agrius for the Knights will uh, finish this guy off. Oh, you freaking jerk. You're going to kill your own... <laughs> But that's part of the game. Like, sometimes you want to attack your allies because it means uh, you can kill the enemy. I like playing chess. Alright, so something happened over here. Where's Agri's going? Ooh. Knight. Who could that be? Maybe there was a reference to him earlier. Looks like he caught our princess, though. So, we had to get in this battle and, uh... It's really just a diversion so this guy could take the princess. And there are chocobos in this game, and they are freaking cool. Don't blame us, blame yourself, poor guy. Ooh, and the religious cards. Oh god. There was a remake to Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, I don't know if it was a remake or what it was, but it has really cool animations. It actually shows Delita, who they just named here, is that guy who uh, took the princess. Um, it shows him in a cinema, kind of a cinema, you know, running away with her and Agrius running through the castle trying to get him. It's pretty cool, but I don't have that version and I'm not sure what version that actually is. Alright, so Delita's with Goltana, it looks like, and he just kidnapped the princess. Why, though? Hmm. Alright, guys. I'm going to let this uh, run out here, and then I think I'm going to call this for the first episode. And just kind of do battle by battle, I think, because these battles can definitely be pretty long. So Delita's name appears for the first time a year before. Alright, so looks like we're flashing back now to Ramza right there and Delita near the back, back ranks, looks like. Soldiers who return. So there's a big war, there's no jobs, little... Food, I think it's gonna say. Oh, it's going so slow for this text, but little money. <laughs> it just went like one, one letter at a time. Even less loyalty to the crown. So, 
Whenever you have a battle, a war, and people don't have food and money, or jobs, they're going to be a little bit uh, pissed off at the crown and royalty. So that's why I really like this game. It's a lot of like royalty versus peasants, thieves, there's a rebellion. There's a whole lot of awesome aspects to this game. Robbery, murder were commonplace. Ivalis. Ivalis is the entire country area that we are. This whole world. They use that name in a lot of other Final Fantasies as well. <clears throat> Garland. Must be, might be a nod to Garland from Final Fantasy 1, I, I don't know. But here is chapter 1, The Meager it is called. There are four chapters, I believe, and in each one Rams is going to change his clothing, which is, I think, pretty cool. It just shows his growth to me. But he is going to be our main character. And we are in the academy, so this is we uh, us training as squires to become knights and trying to figure out our way through Ibilis. But I'm going to end this uh, this episode here. I'm going to continue on my streams and continue to uh, do the episodes, but I'm going to break it apart. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. Uh, this is going to be really, really fun. I really, really like this game. Uh, there's going to be so many dimensions to it. Lots of uh, betrayal, royalty, princesses, and cool stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in episode two. Mm-hmm.